good day, good morning. Today's project is going to be replacing this broken vet. We were on a trip and it was raining outside and we forgot to unlock the vet. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the fan on. <laughs> so that broke. It was a little brittle. And this uh, refrigerator cover, it was like this when we bought the camper. Gonna replace that also. Looks pretty simple. Four screws. Hold that in. And hopefully all the incoming planes won't drown out the video. Sorry, it's early in the morning, not very bright out. Try to beat the forecast of afternoon showers today. Get these repairs done. These are a number two square drive. Come out really easy. Sorry, you're gonna need two hands for this, but you get the general idea. Take the screws out, and then I'll come back once this is moved away. You can see it's surrounded by the uh, putty cock. It's a, uh, can't remember the exact year of this camper, 93, 90, or 94 or 98. Time for uh, new uh, putty tape and a new vent. You wanna take a putty knife to break the bond. See that you don't want your siding to get ripped off. You don't want to he-man it and rip it off. So get your old trusty putty knife and try and get in between the putty and the There we go. Let's vent and break the seal. Now right, here's what you got. There's some duct tape on there from a crack that was there originally. That I temporarily patched while we were camping. And looks like something started to build a home there. But here's your vent. And another damper there inside for the fan peel off your old putty we'll clean that up with some rubbing alcohol and uh, get the shop back and clean this all these little grass clippings out probably a meesey mousey so Get back to you with that, and here comes another plane. <laughs> okay, a little bit of a dilemma. As you can see, quite a difference in the heights. Uh, either gonna have to trim this down or take those two screws and swap the in inside with that one. Because, get these out of the way. The housing of the range hood on the inside is only that deep. So, I can't see my screen, get a glare. So, a good half inch deeper than what we need. So, that and this top portion is very tight to the siding. I'm gonna have to loosen the range hood from the inside, lower it down to bring this lip down be able to slip the lid of the, the plane.
plastic. And another plate. <laughs> Must be rush hour, holiday weekend coming up. Uh, drop that down, be able to slide that over that lip. So, easy peasy just turned into a project. <laughs> Using my calipers as a gauge. One inch is my maximum depth for that lip. I guess I use a coping saw. Trim that lip down. Sorry, poor camera work. My apologies. Standing on a ladder and taping isn't easy. <laughs> All right, get that trimmed down with a coping saw and instead of swapping the backs, rather have a new, the old, old plastic's probably brittle. All right, get that trimmed back and get this patched up and clean, cleaned out and patched up. Quick and easy, scrap piece of lumber. Mark my three quarter inch. Decided to go with three quarters of an inch, then the full inch give me a little leeway because you know this the siding has a contour shape to it. Alright, get that whacked off and see what we end up with. Get the last few cuts in. Plastic moves around a lot. trim down okay take your putty tape this is a three-quarter inch wide peel your tape back at your joints so you can get a tight fit Use a knife to cut it Get it pressed in real good before you pull your tape. You'll get a little squeeze out when you mount it. Just trim that with a knife or a razor blade. Just keep working it down. You want a good solid. Waterproof connection. Inside the camper, there's four screws that hold the range hood. They screw into the other underside of the, uh, the cabinet. So now I have a gap big enough to accommodate the lip. And on your top edge of your tape, which would be the top of the vent, make it a continuous strip so you don't have a seam where the water can uh, get down in, in from the corners. So, we'll just pop this in. come back out and install the screws so this rubber bumper has lost its grip for the uh, door catch and we'll replace that and that is also number two square drive slap some paint on that while it's off the bumper just drops Right inside. Then 
and should be good as new. Or good as old. <laughs> get that cleaned up. Get her. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot. Forgot to shoot video of this. Uh, this is what the top of your refrigerator opening looks like. The vent for the refrigerator. I had to put a new screen. It had a big tear in it. And uh, here's the universal cover. It has multiple openings. And make sure those line up over the holes. Put silicone. Over the hole and at the top of the screw head. These are number two Phillips. There is a two handed operation. camera down I think I missed a hole <laughs> there she be all silicone down ready to roll screws are a little difficult to get exactly lined up over the holes but I got her done hey okay, got the new bumper installed and got her painted up you can see the difference. This hole was pretty wallered out and the door would not stay propped open on the catch. So, got that replaced. And here's the uh, new vent. Just have to scrape away the excess putty and uh, take a sharp tool or a knife follow along should follow up with uh, silicone if you want A little extra insurance. There you go, easy peasy. All right. Yeah. End this video now. Leave any comments if you have any questions. I'll get back to you when I can. Thanks for watching.